Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Monkey Ball. In the last episode, we finished Advanced Mode, and in this episode, we're basically going to be finishing up all of Normal Mode. So let's start by doing as much of Expert Mode as I realistically can, which is not much. <laughs> expert Mode gets hard fast. Uh, let's just get this over with. I don't enjoy playing on Expert Mode, to be quite honest. But I will at least show you what I can. You can already see how crazy this is getting. There's a warp goal up there. We only have 30 seconds for this stage. This is ridiculously tiny. All right. Stage three. And this is probably going to be the last stage you see me clear. <laughs> there is a hidden goal over there. We're not going for it. Okay, okay. Oh, nope. Hesitated too much. I, I don't mean to get so down. I don't particularly like playing games that I know I can't win. Alright. And this is likely where we stop. <laughs> um, I will show you the stage but I don't think I'm gonna be able to clear it. I've never cleared this stage before. Stage four is as far as I've ever gotten in expert mode. Oops. Definitely don't have time now. That's all right, I'll give it one or two solid attempts and then we're just gonna call it there and move on to the rest of what we're gonna cover. Expert mode is a dramatic jump in difficulty, if you ask me. It is far more difficult than uh, advanced mode. Oop. This, yeah, this is probably where we're going to just lose. Oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, now we definitely don't have enough time, but I will try. Oh boy. Oof. I'll give it one more shot, and then that'll be it. I know it looks like I could probably do better, but I have just failed at this stage so many times in my life, I know. Oh, oh that was my fault. Alright, so let's just call that there. While we're here, I am going to use the continue because there are a couple of things I want to show you about the stage. Maybe I'll show off the game over screen. So here, you can actually view the stage in advance. You can zoom in and out, you can control the camera. I'm trying to get a good view of the goal, it's not really giving it to me, unfortunately. You can't control it quite as much as I would like, but this is a good way to get an overview of the stage. I said before that the map isn't great for this, but this is. If you go to how to play, you do get some buttons, you get some rules, you know, the typical stuff, nothing crazy. You can pause if you want to read it. Um, sure. While I'm here, I'll give this one more solid attempt. And then I'll show you what happens if you do not continue, or if you run out of continues, because I'm pretty sure it's the same screen. You know I do love to show the game over screens. And then after that, we'll jump into the different modes that you can play within normal mode. Or within the main game, I should say. Oh, that's right, that's jump. Ugh, you can tell I don't know these stages as well as the other ones, because I just don't play them that often. One day, maybe I will really sit down in practice mode and really figure the, uh, this stage out. I wonder... Hold on. Is, oh god, that lens flare is awful. I wonder if that's on purpose. All right, we have a bonus stage next. This is as far as I have ever gotten <laughs> in expert mode. Hi. I think I'm actually feeling a little bit lightheaded. All right. I know I was in the middle of a sentence. I'm trying to remember what I was about to say there. Got a little bit too excited. All right. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, I know what I was gonna say. I was about to say, I wonder if that stage is one of those stages like I had in advanced mode that's like just way more difficult than the other stages. So like maybe I'll do fine for a few stages and make it up to like stage 20. And stage four is just like a super big obstacle for some reason. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Didn't really want the- oh, I should not have gone for that. I'm not going into this completely blind. I have seen other people play, the, play these stages. But it's not like I remember them super well. This one I do because, you know, it was the next stage after- oh gosh. So like I knew that was gonna happen. I knew the I knew the platforms were gonna break up like that. But I do not have a lot of experience with this stuff. And I was right, at least for a little bit, that stage was much easier than stage four. Alright, this looks like another clone of beginner mode stage ten, but ramped oh gosh. Oh boy. I do not like the looks of that. So yeah, beginner stage ten, but much bigger, so you have to go faster. Oh, jeez. And also with some crazier obstacles. Like this teeny tiny little ramp and this. This is gonna be what kills me. I don't know how I'm gonna get past this, actually. Oh boy. All right, well, at least I got it for practice mode. I don't, I think we're just gonna stop there. I don't feel like going any further. <laughs> and there's the game over screen. All right. Let's jump into practice mode, and let's take a look at some individual stages. You can go through all of beginner, advanced, and expert, as well as the extra stages. If you've unlocked master, you can do it here too, but I, I have not. So I'm going to show off some things. First of all, this is what I was going to say, the second thing that I remembered from the last time. I'm going to show off the, uh, the hidden goals, the warps. And you actually get a huge bonus for getting these uh, these warps. It, it, you're not seeing it here because we're just in practice mode, but you get a times three bonus added on to your score just for taking a warp. The warp in uh, level two sends you straight to stage five, which speaking of, we're gonna jump into next so I can show you that you can actually jump off of this particular bonus stage as well. So just, Go full speed ahead and just jump right off. And you can skip that stage if you don't really feel like taking the, the time to do all of it. So next we're going to go to stage 6. There is an alternate, much faster way of doing this than the intended way. And that is by jumping off the edge here. Very gentle, pull back on the stick, you will just fly off that other edge if you are moving forward. And boom! Moving quickly into stage 8. I have challenged myself to beat this stage while getting all of the bananas. I believe it is possible, and I believe I can do it. So let's give it a try. Also, I didn't mention it before, but uh, yes, that is the Dole logo in the middle of this, uh, this stage here. For, for how difficult the game is, one thing I really do appreciate about it- oh, that's not good. That's not gonna work. Let me try that again. One thing I really appreciate about this game is just how good it is about easing you into things. So like we just played that expert stage that had the moving platforms, like the platforms that break apart, but you've kind of already known how to deal with that because you've got this mode in beginner and then there's another stage in advance that does, that does uh, the same thing, but there's a big hole in the middle of the floor. So it really does ease you into it. Unfortunately, it doesn't... Okay, okay. It doesn't really ease you into um, expert mode. <laughs> it does ease you into advanced mode, I think. Oh, I think we did it. All right. But yeah, expert mode just sort of takes a turn <laughs> real fast. All right. So let's go to advanced mode now. We're back, sorry about that, the usual interruptions. Anyway, let's jump into advanced mode. Let's start with stage two. There's no hidden warps or anything in here, but I do wanna show what it's like getting those bananas over there. I usually don't go for it because I usually find that it's not worth it, 
but <laughs> let's give it a try. As you'll see, it's not quite as easy as going down and grabbing them. There is one of those little rotating poles down here. And uh, a bunch of bananas is not worth your life. <laughs> um, it's doable. You can see I just did it, but it takes a lot of time. And just, I never find it to be worth it. But there you go. We got it. If only because we can. All right, where are we going next? Let's see. Let's jump into stage five, which is the... Oh, not stage five, sorry, stage six. <laughs> Let's jump into stage six, which has our first warp for this, uh, for advanced mode. It's the exact same thing as stage two for beginner. Just sort of line yourself up and plop yourself down. Yikes. All right, that sends you to floor 10. Speaking of floor 10, that's actually our oops, that's actually our next stop. And just like with any bonus stage, I'm here to show you how to throw yourself off the edge in case you don't feel like dealing with it. So this one sort of undulates, just wait for it to get going and then just sort of just like run yourself into the edge until you throw yourself off basically. Not that hard. All right. Back to stage select. I do want to, where is it? Where, I think I missed it actually. Yeah, I want to address this stage real fast. I said when we did the actual playthrough of advanced mode that you kind of have to go full speed ahead. I'm wrong. I'm just remembering from when I was learning this stage, I used to go too slowly. But I want to show you, yeah, I am pulling back. I probably could even be going for these bananas if I wanted to. You just can't go too slow. You have to actually go for it when you have a straightaway. But there you go. I'm not anywhere near as, as scared of that stage as I used to be. So let's go back and let's go, um, I'm not going to show you, where is it, stage 13 again. I'm just going to say I said there was a hidden goal at the end. There isn't. I was just remembering that incorrectly. So there's actually nothing back there. But let's go into stage 18, which has not one, but two hidden warps. Not that they're hidden. So you can actually get these warps by going one of two ways. I'm gonna show the first way first. So just go forward, bypass the blue goal. And it's gonna seem like it's a little bit close, but if you're going full tilt and really only holding back when you need to do a turn or something, you will catch up with it eventually. Like here, I might pull myself back a little because we've got a sharp turn. But other than that, just full speed ahead. And when you come to this straightaway here, you really will be able to pick up speed and just go for it. That jumps you to floor 20. But if you go for the other goal, which is actually really cool, you're never gonna catch up to it. It's too fast. So what you have to do is go a little bit forward and go backwards. And then you can just get to the goal. It'll come to you. I am gonna go forward because I'm impatient, <laughs> but the goal will just, whoops. That's what I get for being impatient. All right, so I should have just waited. But a little forward, you don't want to jump right off the edge because you won't quite make it. Oh, speaking of not quite making it, I'm not super used to doing this because I don't. I usually don't make it this far in advanced mode. Or it's not that I don't make it; it's that I don't usually play advanced mode enough to get this far. So this is a little bit of a new trick for me. Remember, you are on an incline here. You don't. If you want to not. Mo okay, here it comes. Line yourself up, and oh, that didn't work. All right, I'm gonna try it one more time and then I'll cut to when I get it. Like I said, this is a little bit of a new trick for me. But yeah, remember you are in an incline, so I'm not touching the control stick right now and my momentum's carrying me forward a little bit. But if you come to a dead stop, it's very easy to get yourself rolling backward the other way. Yeah, you do need to actually control the ball a little bit. And boom. And that takes you all the way to floor 25. And that's it for Oh, shoot, sorry. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. If you're new to the channel, that happens sometimes. I do live with other people, and I try to record when it's not gonna bother anyone, but sometimes things happen. It looks like it's gonna be one of those nights, unfortunately. So we're done with practice mode. 
Let's jump back into normal mode real quick and see what happens if we play it with two players. So I've got another controller right here. Uh, which, there we go. So let's uh, jump into beginner. We're not gonna play through the whole thing. I just wanna show you what happens. So normal mode with two players is, I, it's not really a contest per se, but you play through one after the other. So you can decide with your friends what you want to make of it. You can either go for score or go for time or just, you know, see if both players can get through the stages. The characters will have a different set of colors for their player two version. I'll show that off a little bit more later with the party games. We're not going to show all of this. That's, that's it. Nothing changes. But there is also a competition mode. Competition mode. Um, let me insert more controllers. There we go. Mm, okay. Ugh, this controller is kind of kind of crappy. Unfortunately, most of my GameCube controllers <laughs> are a little bit old, <laughs> but we do what we can. All right, so uh, let's see. With competition mode, you have a set number of matches, one through five. I'm gonna keep the default of three. And you can pick any stage that you've played through in the main game. So you can't get stages that you've never played before. I think you can, yeah, you can do the expert stages as well. So I'm just gonna go for these three. And you are going for a bit of a contest here. These settings are all the default except the stage bananas. The stage bananas are off by default. I turned them back on. The goal of competition mode is to get the most bananas. You get bananas by A, completing the, um, completing the stage first and B, picking them up in the stage. So let's just start. It'll be more obvious how this works once we actually see it. So this is split screen. You're only gonna see the top moving because you know, I'm only one person. But you collect bananas, your banana counter goes up. It's round one. And I got first place or baby got first place because they're both me. So we got some extra bananas and then you just move on to the next one. So if you were really like trying to make it a contest, it, I could see the beginner stages are not the ones you'd want to play for that, but I could see this getting a little bit heated, but I'm just gonna, you know, go through it fast. For the final round, you cannot see the banana count. So I guess they do that for a sense of tension. It's like, who's winning? But realistically, with these types of things, you usually know. So baby wins. The other rule that was off by default was the consecutive win streak. I can see why somebody wouldn't want to play with that because it means that if you get, if you like win, if you come in first a certain amount of times, you start getting more bananas and then it makes it harder and harder for the other player to actually catch up. So I can see why that's off by default. I wouldn't want to play with that either, to be honest. Is that it? I think that might actually be it for normal mode. So real quick, just one more note. You can still get uh, get play points when you've finished unlocking all the mini games. When you get all of the mini games unlocked, then you start unlocking more continues up to a maximum of 10, which is very useful if you're trying to learn the game. And I quite frankly wish I knew that when I was like growing up trying to practice advanced mode and not realizing there was an auto save function. But yeah, I don't think I'm actually gonna show that because there's really nothing that's different. But that's it for the main game. And now we've got two, uh, two modes left. We've got party games and mini games. I think I might dedicate an entire episode to each one. So like one episode for the racing, one episode for fighting, one episode for target. The fighting is probably gonna be short, but like same, mm, the mini games might be one episode, we'll see. Either way, thank you very much for watching this episode, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode for some party games. Bye-bye!